is the most advanced piece of technology that I've ever worked on at Apple. The innovation in the product really starts with multi-touch itself. This multi-touch is the largest that we've ever built in a product. And it's on multi-touch of this size that you really feel the power and performance that multi-touch can offer. By putting well over a thousand sensors in this multi-touch design, the level of multi-touch accuracy that the customer will experience is unprecedented. When you take the product out of the box and hit the power button, the display immediately comes to life. And I think our customer's experience with that will be, wow, this is a really vibrant display. The backlighting system is LED, and LED is what gives you the crispness and color quality in the display itself. Beyond that, we use IPS technology. IPS is a premium display technology that gives you not only a great experience looking directly at the device, but also off-angle when you're sharing the device with someone else. The reason why this product responds so well, and you really feel the performance of it, is because of the custom silicon that we designed for this product. That silicon is called A4, and it's really built by our hardware team in concert with our software team. And what that gives you is a level of performance that you can't achieve any other way. It also gives you the efficiency to achieve a battery that lasts all day long. Apple's the one place that you can really do this. We build battery technology, we build chip technology, we build software, and we bring all those things together in a way that no one else can do it. One of the most important features we designed in the iPad was an affordable price. Usually when you get the brand new latest technology, it starts at a high price, and over time, it gets more affordable and works its way down. We wanted to do it differently. We wanted to take all this advanced technology, hardware and software, do everything we could to get it into the hands of as many people as possible, right from the start. The iPad starts at just $4.99. That's really exciting. The iPad, on one hand, is clearly way bigger than just a new product. This is a new category, but yet millions and millions of people are going to be instantly familiar with it. They're going to know how to use it. In many ways, this, this defines our vision, our sense of what's next. So, let's go back to the beginning. Do we have what it takes to establish a third category of products? An awesome product in between a laptop and a smartphone. Well, the bar is pretty high. It's got to be far better at doing some key things like these. And we think we got the goods. We think we've done it. And we are so excited about this product. Another thing we're so excited about is that because we've shipped over 75 million iPhones and iPod Touches, there's over 75 million people that already know how to use the iPad. So we can't wait for them to get their hands on it. And as you know, we have the iTunes Store, the App Store, and now the iBook Store, all on the iPad. And between these stores, we have over 125 million accounts with credit cards, all enabled for one-click shopping on all of these stores.